Hey, Karen, are you ready to sing the Pot of Vegetable Garden song? Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. It goes like this. Watch the tomatoes grow. Watch those veggies grow. That's the best thing we know. We're at the potted vegetable garden. Say bye, Dad. Bye. Happy gardening. G'day, my friends. It's Marty Ware here from Marty's Garden. And I'm on my balcony in Australia on the Gold Coast and it's coming into winter so we're just in our second month of autumn now. You may get a bit of background noise here because it's a little bit busy today. But um, I just wanted to show you my vertical recycled bottle garden. I've got some strawberries and a sweet basil plant growing in it at the moment which is really cool. There's some little strawberries coming through here now. It's been in flower for a while. And what it does is it drains down into down below and what is my parsley down here this is my wild leaf wild leaf italian parsley i've also got another one over the other side just a little bit further down that you can't see right yet and that's doing extremely well as well at the moment just doing strawberries and the one basil at the moment just to test them out and i've learned a few tricks of the trade i believe already and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to show you how to build one so hang around and let's learn how to build a vertical bottle balcony garden now this is not my idea this was created by Willem van Cotham and so all the glory goes to you Willem <laughs> great idea and I'm loving trialing this out all right so hang on to the video we're going to show you how to make one right now plastic bin here now if you don't have one of these and you're an apartment gardener get yourself one stop making a huge mess all over the place and you can mix up your own potty mixes and pot on and all that type of stuff so these are really great and what you will need is you need four bottles to make a three tiered system four bottles four plastic bottles you'll need a knife some scissors and a scoop and some fertilizer now you may want to use organic fertilizer I'm using a non-organic fertilizer here and voila let's get started it's really really easy so what we need to do is we need to choose which one is going to be our bottom bottle now I've got the biggest one the largest bottle here I've used and I've taped it up to stop any of the algae growth and what we need to do is we need to cut off the tops so I'll just show you what it looks like there's one of the tops there and I just cut that off and I use that again to put little plants and things in and use it as a little water tray. So it's a great way to recycle on. Then what we do is we stack them on top of each other to make our bottles. And voila, we have our tower. Now there's a little bit more to it than that. You do have to cut some slits in the tops just so they slide down in nicely and it pushes out a little bit so you get a nice firm fit. Now you don't have to worry about taping them together. The weight holds them together and it's really simple to do. Then the next part is you've got to fill them up and then wire them or stand them up somehow before you put the plants in. The reason being we fill them up is once it's full of dirt, we cut some, some windows in and then we put our plants in like that. So I'm going to show you in the next part uh, how to do it. Now just remember, you need four bottles. You need to choose which is your bottom bottle. You need to put tape around to stop the algae if you're going for the long-term growth. They just all stack on top of each other like that. One, two, three. And your top one is your water bottle where you pour your water into at the top. And that's how you fill it up. And so it stands up like that. So let's go into the next part of the video where I'm going to tie it up on the balcony, cut some slits in it, and get some plants in there. So 
Sorry guys, I forgot one thing. You need to use a good quality potting mix. The reason being is it needs to be light. If it's really like a heavy organic one, it's really heavy, it compresses because it's sitting up vertical and the weight will all push down. So I've made my own mix here of vermiculite, perlite, compost and So near the bottom of the bottle, make sure you cut some slits that go down, across, and down. Uh, the reason being is because you want this to this flap to pull out, and so you've got a bottom lever at the bottom that holds the plant. I'll show you, so you can have a better look here. What I mean. So there we have it, my friends, my vertical bottle recycled tower garden. Yes, yes, very cool. I've got some lettuce in there because I've got enough strawberries growing this time. I've got one strawberry in the centre there, another lettuce down the bottom here. And what I do is, is then I just fill it up from the top. Like this. With some liquid fertiliser. It'll all run down and you know it'll compact for a little bit first to get going. And then voila, I am going to have my own number three vertical bottle garden that I'm very proud of and I thank Willem Van Cottom for coming up with this invention. Alright, I'm Marty Ware from Marty's Garden on YouTube. If you want to follow me and learn more about growing food at home in small spaces and urban places, then Feel free to subscribe now and click any of the links down below, leave a comment and we'll see you at the next video real soon. Happy gardening and bye for now.